What's up guys, Cheeselitas here, and I have another battle breakdown for you. This is specifically talking about team chemistry, and by the way, this is a Frag Nation match. It's not legit game battles. If you don't know what Frag Nation is, it's basically the noobish um, version of game battles. As you can see, I put down a Mouncing Betty. There's leeway with the rules, uh, what's allowed and what's not allowed. Um, and we're playing Domination, that's the default Enemy game mode. Uh, we wanted to change it to Search, but we're the other team lead. wouldn't accept it. So we had to play Enemy this. Okay, so... Um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about what Security team chemistry lead. is, why it's important, and how you can have team chemistry. Um, first of all, what is team chemistry? Well, team chemistry is a chemistry between you and your teammate. Well... To be more specific, team chemistry is the cooperation or bond between uh, two people or however many people are on your team. Um, this cooperation is key in winning a game or any kind of sport that you play or in just getting a simple task done. Um, uh, why is it important? Well, first of all, uh, good chemistry comes good coordin uh, coordination. Well, it kind of does, but uh, good communication. Um, um, if you do not have communication, you cannot get a task, an objective. You cannot win. Um, you will not be able to complete anything. Um, and... Uh, your teammate will never know where everything is, you will not know where everything is, you two will, if you two are silent or it, barely talking, um, then nothing will get done. Um, another thing, another reason why, um, team chemistry is important is because of motivation. If you're with, uh, a teammate that you like that uh, you've been on a team before team with before whatever uh, then you will be motivated to play with them you'll if you're playing with somebody that you don't like that you've never played with that you can't tolerate you will most likely not want to play with that person again uh, I've had this experience uh, once I think um, and in my most, re most recent game battle scene. <laughs> That's not the point. Uh, what the point is, is that, um, back to motivation. Um, uh, your teammates can motivate you and you can motivate them to do better. Uh, if you have a teammate that you don't like playing with, then they'll most likely be yelling at you, blaming you for, uh, fails, stupid stuff that you did, lose losses, you will most likely be the, um, be the blame in a loss. Um, okay, so how can you get team chemistry? Well, uh, something that I learned to get good team chemistry is play pubs. Uh, pubs, <laughs> Uh, pickups. Because when you play a pickup, it's basically a pub uh, of a competitive world. Um, so you don't have to talk very much. Um, you can find pickups on the forums. They're not that rare. They're just very common. Um, plus, pickups is a really good way to bond with your teammate, to. Uh, get to know each other's strategies, each other's weaknesses, strengths, and um, another thing, uh, make sure you and, make sure you and your teammate complement each other. So like match up a slayer or an objective, or a slayer and objective, or um, support objective, support slayer, most likely mostly support objective. You don't really want support and slayer together. That's not a very good combo. Um, but opposites attract. Um, if you have teammates that are the same, like two slayers, you're not going to get the objective 
depleted unless you're playing team deathmatch. Um, and if you have two objectives, uh, there will be no killing, or barely any killing, and uh, you won't be able to really stand any objective and whatnot. Um, so me and my teammate, uh, me and Ignition, have been on uh, a game that I was team together. We have played together. We're friends, so. Uh, we know our uh, strategies, we know our weaknesses, our strengths, and we're able to pick up for them, or make up for them, or whatever. Um, um, another way to get good team chemistry, play Frag Nation. Um, it's not that hard. My team is already, my doubles team is already number one in the ladder, and... Uh, it was very easy, basically like playing pubs. Um, um, let me tell you about my experience of team chemistry and, um, okay, so, I am not on a game battles team right now. I got kicked off my most, my most recent one, and, uh, I w won't. I refuse to join another team. The reason for that is because I don't want to have to experience this team chemistry. This team chemistry, this lack of team chemistry, um, I should call it. Um, because I don't want to have to deal with teammates blaming me um, and all that crappy stuff. So I try and stick to singles or doubles with uh, ignition. And, um,. <sighs> Uh, and by the way, chemistry, team chemistry, can come back to bite you, like bad team chemistry can most likely affect you in a doubles match, because you're the only one for your teammate to blame, and, uh, that's, and you don't want all the blame pitted on you, um, I recommend you don't get a team with uh, a loud mouth. <laughs> loud mouth will most likely distract you, and they will uh, blame you. Even if you good team chemistry, you will get blamed, um, and it's it's very distracting. Um. Okay. So back to the story with me. Like I said, I refuse to be on a game battle team. Because of bad team chemistry, that's why I play singles. Um, the most recent team I was on, I did have good team chemistry uh, with two of the three players. One of them, um, I didn't really like. Um, <clears throat> uh, what was I gonna say? I I am like drawing a huge blank right now. I can't think straight. Um. Uh, okay, so let's just go back to the game. Okay, so, playing Domination, we're winning right now, but we are um, in a two cap. So we have to move fast, we have to move really fast to cap uh, one more objective. Um, so we're quickly moving in a B. I got a nice two piece right there. Place a bouncing Betty. I get taken out. But, uh, uh, ignition comes in, jumps on it, is able to make up for my mistake. My mistake was dying, missing my shots. Very simple mistake. And I make up for his mistake and get a nice two piece in the process. Um, the last game was bootleg domination. By the way, I hate not MLG game modes. I hate it a lot. Passion, team deathmatch, uh, demolition, domination. I I have to admit I did play those game modes before, but I despise them now. Competitive. Okay, so this is the end of the video. Uh, if you enjoyed, please click the like button, and uh, if you want to see more battle breakdown. 
please subscribe to my channel and FOD Gaming channel. Uh, my videos are also on there if you're watching this on my channel. And if you're watching it on the FOD channel, then uh, these videos are also on my channel. Okay, so don't forget to follow me on Twitter, check out all the links below, and have a nice day, guys. Cheese out. Peace. Mission accomplished.